Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Elena with Forge Breast Cancer Survivor Center. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. Just wanted to say hello, and I have the great privilege of introducing Salem Green here with us today. She is a Forge friend, a poet, a creative writer. Um, she does a lot of wonderful things with Forge, and today she's here to just talk a little bit about some writing tips to wellness. So with that, Salem, I pass it over to you. All right. Thank you, Elena. Hello, Facebook Live world. I am Salem Green, creative writer, poet, storyteller, uh, listener, poet, all of those things. And today I'm really excited because not only is it Wednesday, but it's Writing for Wellness Wednesday. Let's just call it that. Let's just have a Wellness Writing Wednesday. And I'm really excited to talk about some writing prompts, to do some poems, and some ways that we can kind of go back and just really think about how we can begin to write ourselves into well-being. I won't take any qualms about it or make any qualms about it. Every day adulting can be challenging. I am loving seeing all of the back to school pictures. I'm loving seeing that perhaps fall is on the way. I'm loving seeing that we are transitioning, whether that's working at home or working back in the office. But no matter what we're doing, I want us to continue to focus on us. Focus on our self-care, focus on our well-being, focus on our wellness. So today I'm going to give you three quick writing to wellness writing prompts, give you some suggestions, some tips, and some tidbits on how you can use those writing prompts in your everyday daily life, quick and simple. And then hopefully at the end, if you don't mind at some point, you can comment on some of the stories that you might tell, some of the writing that you have done, or some of the ways that you are going to use these wonderful writing to wellness writing prompts. I want to read you a poem, the poem for today. It's called the, Bi the Bicycle in My Dream, The Bike in My Dream. I don't know about you, but I learned how to ride a bike pretty young, and I think I probably still can do it. I don't know. Once you ride a bike, you always know how to ride a bike, right? But for those who never learned or who don't care to ride a bike, the whole process of learning something and remembering it is what we're going to talk about today. So, The Bicycle Bike in My Dream. Sleek red glider, training wheels for days, digging my heels into the uneven marble sidewalk, the bike in my dream. The bike in my dream had wings, go figure, not the kind that angels wear, but polka dot butterfly wings, flaps made of silk. The bike in my dream pedaled me to heaven, not the God kind of heaven, but the kind of heaven that was around this one circle tire swing that hangs from a saving grace tree and a place park for a winged bicycle gliding down from the glorious sky. My bicycle, the sleek red glider, training wheels for days, now parked underneath a tree, my own personal haven, my own personal heaven. Think about it. If you aren't doing a bicycle or if it's not a bike in your dream, what would be a place or a space that would feel safe? A place or a space that would remind you of the memories of learning something new? What would be that space or that place where your imagination could come alive? What would be that space or that place where you could breathe and allow all distractions out of your life? For me, it's parking my bike underneath an oak tree. But for you, it may very well be going for a long drive. Or perhaps it's sitting on your beautiful porch. Or for you, maybe it's looking outside of your window at the rain or walking your dog, or smelling the sweet scent of your favorite fragrance. And that's our writing prompt for today. Our writing prompt for today is delight. Delight. What brings you delight? Me on my red slider bicycle 
with wings flapping, taking me to my beautiful tree brings me delight. But what brings you delight? So I ask you to get a journal, a piece of paper, a pen, something to write with, and do a seven minute fast write. Whatever comes up, allow it to come out. And I want you today to write yourself to wellness from the writing prompt. What brings you delight? Take a risk. Maybe it's chocolate. <laughs> Maybe it's going to that restaurant you haven't gone to in a while. Maybe it's driving through a fast food restaurant and picking up that sweet tea or that lemonade. <laughs> Maybe it's taking a day off from work and just allowing yourself to be you. Going shopping or spending time with a neighbor or your husband or your best friend. What brings you delight? The other day I was in the CVS or Walgreens, if I could say that, and I began to think about the type of toothpaste I needed to buy. So it was time to buy another, uh, you know, pack of toothpaste, right? And as I was looking over all of the million types of toothpaste, I went, of course, back to my Colgate, you know, familiar kind that I always get. Then I thought for a moment, Maybe if I take a risk in Walgreens? Because after all, I'm taking care of my self-care, buying my toothpaste. I'm taking care of my wellness, making sure that I get my, my, my teeth brushed. But what if I take a risk and I actually bought some toothpaste that brought me delight? That was different from any kind that I've ever had before. And I'm not sure if it's going to be whitening. I'm not sure if it's cavity protection. I'm not sure if it's dental approved, uh, dentist approved. All I know is I want the kind that brings me delight. So I began to kind of look through all of the different kinds and picking them up and looking at the different flavors and looking at the different scents and looking at the different ways in which this toothpaste promised to make my teeth brighter and my life brighter. <laughs> And I said, hmm, I think I just get the kind I always gotten. It's on sale. It's familiar. But then I began to think, what if I took a risk and I got this mint toothpaste that was for children? You know, the mint toothpaste that was a little frothy. Now I can still get my familiar kind and have my adult toothpaste. But I saw this toothpaste and it said mint-tastic. And I thought, oh my gosh. All of a sudden my heart began to bubble up and I began to get excited. I'm in the CVS, I'm doing my self-care. It's a normal day and I'm going to buy something different. Mint-tastic toothpaste because it brings me delight. So writing for wellness, my friends, is simply taking seven minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes or three minutes and writing from the space in your life that brings you joy and delight and makes your heart open and swell and feel well again. So what's our writing prompt? Buy some new toothpaste, maybe <laughs> mint tasting. It's it was really good. It was I'm I'm sure if it was for kids, it's working all of the cavities and the brightening and the whitening and all the things that it's supposed to do. I still have my familiar Colgate there as well, just in case things go wrong with the mint tastic, right? <laughs> but the delight I got out of opening that bat, that box of mint tastic and for the first time putting it on my toothbrush and putting the water underneath the water in my sink and knowing that I have something new for that morning as I started my day and that night as I ended my day brought me joy and delight. So your writing for wellness prompt for today is to write for seven minutes, whatever comes up, allow it to come out. What brings you delight? Allow your heart to open and your imagination to soar like a bicycle in heaven. Be well, my friends.
But more than that, we have something exciting. If you enjoy writing, if you enjoy wellness, if you are a caregiver, if you are someone who most definitely has been directly impacted or impacted by breast cancer, or if yourself just wants to be a, be a part of a community of caregivers, uh, healthcare professionals, what have you, Elena has a great opportunity that comes up every third Thursday where we do something called the right treatment, W-R-I-T-E, the right treatment, where we write for wellness and community. Elena, can you tell them about what we be do what we're gonna be doing? <laughs> well, hello again. Y'all, I think I may have said happy Tuesday. And I wanna go ahead and apologize <laughs> because Salem reminded me it is absolutely Wednesday. So whether you are watching this it's live with us, Wednesday, it, Elena. Is, it is wellness Wednesday. So I whether you're watching it live with us, hello, later on today or whatever day of the week you may find this video. As Salem mentions, we want to invite each of you to join us for the right treatment, which does happen every Thursday. Thursday. It's actually in a hybrid format. So you are welcome to come here to the Forge House. Um, and we are set up in our in our den space on comfy couches. We you know have snacks and waters and journals kind of ready to come together in community um, and respond to different prompts that Salem shares with us. But you can also join virtually because we know that not everyone's able to come to the Forge House on the third Thursday at 5 30 p.m. Central Time. So maybe you live a few miles away, maybe you live even farther away than that. Um, so we want to make that space available for you then as well. So hybrid is such a weird format to have, but I think we've figured out some sort of magic sauce for it. Um, it's a wonderful time just to reflect on a couple of things and really set you up for the next month um, and to think about things like what brings you delight. Uh, the entire time that Ceylon was sharing, I was actually thinking about the kid's toothpaste that's pink and has glitter in it. Because those, I mean, what fun. I haven't used that in many, many years at this point. Um, so it's a good reminder uh, every month, you know, to come together and be able to think about those things that maybe you just don't take the time to think about very often. Um, so with that said, we hope that you join us. So the August class, I believe, is on Thursday, August 18th. Again, the third Thursday of every month, 5.30 p.m. You can learn more by going to Forge's website. So that's www.forgeon.org, F-O-R-G-E-O-N. Org. Um, there's a calendar there where you can learn about it or you can email me um, at programs at forgeon.org um, to learn more and to join in the community that we're creating here. Absolutely. Have some delight today, you all. Thank you. Right to wellness. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>